Good morning, everyone. This is Carolyn Lang coming to you from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Uh, go Packers, they did win the game last night. Uh, I listened to it on the radio. Uh, I just not, I'm not very good about sitting still, and besides that, we'd only have Netflix. So anyways, I'm here in my one of my favorite rooms of my house. This is our sunroom. I'll give you a quick look of the other side. So I get to see all the nice things outside, and I get to have my plants here. Um, some of them are fake, some of them are not, but it's a great room to be in, especially in Wisconsin when it's cold and snowy. Hi, Colleen. Thanks for joining. Uh, so anyways, what I wanted to talk about today was uh, two things or a couple things that I wish I had done more of. I should say one thing I wish I'd done more of and one thing I wish I had done less of when I was a younger mom. Um, in case you don't know who I am while, while you're joining us before I get started, uh, let me tell you a little story about who I am a little bit. But uh, Feel free to let me know where you're coming from, or if this is the first time you've joined me, then uh, put a little uh, comment in the section below. I like to see that. And if you get some value out of this or you like what you hear, then go ahead and put a thumbs up. That's a nice thing to know that I'm actually connecting with, you know, what people want to hear and talk about. <laughs> Anyways, so um, in case you don't know about me, I have 11 children, and I was a mom very young, and... So one of the things that I did uh, was, um, with that many kids, I was always busy, busy, busy. And um, I'm in a much different place in my life right now. And of course, you always think about some things you would have done differently. But one of the things that I would say that I should have done more of was focus on me. And... That sounds like a very selfish thing to do, and in fact, uh, for many years, I thought that was very selfish, and so I didn't do that. However, hi, Susan. Nice to see you. But however, if you focus on yourself, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but if you focus on yourself, then you have the energy to give to other people. Um, I like to listen to Darren Hardy with his Darren Daily podcast. And if you don't know who that is, I encourage you to Google him and look him up. You can find him in the podcast as well. But he talked today about putting on your oxygen mask first. Um, you know, when you're in an airline, they, that's what they always say, to put your oxygen mask on so that you can help other people. And that is what I mean when I say focusing on myself. Um, taking the time to take care of myself, to um, focus on learning things to teach other people. And I did that somewhat, but I would say I was not very good with taking care of myself. Um, I did do something that was not so good, which was I really earned the badge of busyness. Um, you know, I used that as an excuse for not taking care of myself. You know, something else was more important. I always had to uh, run around and take care of the children with 11 kids. There's always somebody that I need to help out and take care of. We were, I was a dairy farmer for a while. We moved around the country. Um, I also homeschooled. So when we had all those kids at home, there was always something to be done. And so I used the badge of busyness to kind of keep me from focusing on things that I didn't want to work on for myself. Um, so if that's where you are, I encourage you to just take the time to focus on yourself so that you can turn around and help other people. Um, when I talk about putting on your oxygen mask and helping yourself, uh, what do I mean by that? Um, when I say that not to prioritize yourself, that's not in a selfish way, but you were gifted with your life. You were gifted with your body. So you need to take care of it so that you are able to help other people. Uh, I know many people that have poor health and they aren't able to do for others because of their health. And that's such a, a sad thing if you have a good body. Maybe it's not in the perfect model condition, but so what? If it works and works well, that's what you need to focus on and be grateful for and and keep it healthy, keep it tuned up and running. So the you know, three things for self-care, uh, your physical self-care, your mental 
and your emotional self-care. And all those three things have to be part of what you are taking care of and really prioritizing in your life. So I'm getting started here in my work day. Um, is, so this morning, we get up at 6 o'clock. I get the girls off to school. I drive to the gym because it's right on my way home. And I go and work out for a while. And that really helps me to feel better about myself physically. I feel stronger. I have a tricky back, so that keeps my back uh, from giving me problems because I, there was a period of my life when I was on my back for three months with a herniated disc. So I've learned my lesson about that one. Um, and then I came home and sat here for a while in my uh, sunroom here, and I call it my Florida room. We, we moved from Florida, and uh, this is my way of keeping close to Florida. Uh, but then I was sitting here and focusing on what I was grateful for, that I do have my health, uh, I do have a wonderful family, and then I was thinking, too, of um, uh, the your personal growth, like I said, the podcast, what I like to listen to while I'm at the gym. So like I told you before, I was a recovering multitasker, but I do like to do um, listening to things while I work out. So I listen to different podcasts and um, then I, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I listen to different podcasts and different uh, versions of books on tape, things like that, to really give myself some time to, uh, you know, put that in my brain and grow my my own um, self self uh, knowledge. And um, with learning something new, like I was going to say, the the idea of learning something new so you can share it with other people. So one of the things I'm learning to do are these Facebook Lives. And uh, I appreciate all the people that are tuning in and bearing with me while I learn how to do these and become a better blogger and live uh, video person. But uh, when I learn how to do this, then I can turn around and maybe share it with somebody else who wants to learn how to do it as well. Um, and then the third thing that's so important is your emotional health. and that includes your faith, building your faith, doing uh, relationship building. I mean, that's we had some relationships that were kind of out of place uh, recently, and we needed to work on that. And so having the time and not being so busy and running around and crazy, but really focusing on the relationships, because after all, that is what you have. I mean, my... Um, my my mom passed away in 2002, and I was good about going down and helping her out and, and helping her with her health, and, or I'm sorry, with her um, housework and different things like that. But I don't know, I regret not spending enough time just sitting there talking with her. So that's something that, oh, I guess I am emotional about that. So that's something that, you know, really relationships, so critical. So, um, if this is anything that has helped you out, I really hope that you can identify with that. You can give me a thumbs up, and uh, I appreciate that. But feel free to share this, and um, don't feel guilty about taking some time for yourself. You need that to recharge your batteries. We were not meant to be energizer bunnies and run around, run around, run around, and then all of a sudden run out of steam, and then you have nothing left to give when your family or when other people need you. So with that, I will let you go and give you a quick view again out my snowy window. Some more snow. Um, you see my plants there. Keeping it real, I have a fake plant and a live plant. So anyways, you guys take care and we will talk with you tomorrow. Take care.